If you go to our Discover website, you'll see that we've got an ongoing survey we've been conducting for the last few months. Now, the feedback we've been getting is that you want to see more four-wheel drive stories, some caravan and camping type stuff, and general outdoor adventure stories as well. Now, I know nothing about any of those things, so we've tracked down an expert. Ricky Esser, welcome on board. Yeah, good day, Chris. How are you? Good. Now, Ricky, what are the sorts of things we're going to be looking at during the series? Okay, well, I do tag-along tours uh, based on advanced driver training and towing education, so I'm here to show show you uh, about four-wheel driving and also some new and exciting products out there. When you say products, like if we're going camping, the gadget type things that are out there? Yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff out yep. there that people don't know about, so that's what I'm here to do. Alright, fantastic. We'll look at some caravan parks as well. Yep, there's some great spots out there, caravan and uh, caravan parks and uh, campsites. Yep. It's all new and exciting and always being improved all the way, uh, right the way around the, uh, the state. So. Great stuff. Now, you talk about four-wheel driving. I've got a very, very basic question to ask you about the Pajero. Is that alright? Right? Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, worries. great stuff. Now, sometimes we're out and we have to go four wheel driving. I thought cars either had two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. What are all these different settings? Well, they're just uh, different settings on your transfer box. Yeah. So that uh, when you're in different types of terrain, you can select uh, different types of four-wheel drive mode. But how many types of four-wheel drive are there? Just explain that. Okay. Way. Well, your, your 2H is yeah. basically your highway two-wheel drive. So that's uh, all day, every day. When you get onto uh, dirt roads or loose um, surfaces, you can click that into 4H. Then oh. that gives you some drive on the front hand So that floats between the front and rear. As soon as you go 4HLC with the Pajero, that's a lock centre. Okay, so that locks the centre diff and it transfers the drive 50-50 between the front and rear, so you've got even drive. Okay, then you go into low range, so uh, so that's a lock centre, low range, that's your crawling gears uh, for going over really tough terrain, uh, rocks, uh, etc. Et so et real heavy duty four wheel driving. Yes, yeah, so that... if you ascents and descents you want to be able to control the speed really easily, that's where you go into your low range. But as soon as you come off of any loose surface or you've been four wheel driving, make sure you put that back into 2H or you fall you right. more high. So that's quite important. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, because if you don't, you could end up getting transmission wind up and then there's damage uh, on the transfer case and, and uh, gearbox and so on. Oh, All right, while I've got you here, yeah. I'll, uh, get, let's get some seating position uh, happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, now, yeah. your feet can touch the, fire, the firewall quite uh, comfortably. Yeah, yeah, the just, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what we want to do now is just raise your arms and just lay them on top of the steering wheel. Basically, we want relaxed shoulders across the top of the steering wheel. All right. All right. I am. I'm probably stretching a little bit. Okay, so just bring the seat up just slightly. Okay. So rather than going forward, bring it bring it up, yeah? Yeah, because your legs are already in the right position. Okay, All right. yeah, that's better. All right, now bring your hands around to 10 to 2 or quarter to 3. Yeah. All right, when you're forward driving, make sure your thumbs are outside of the steering wheel at all times. Okay. Because if they're inside, that steering wheel takes off on you, there's a chance of you uh, damaging you, yourself. All right, so once we've got that, then we'll go to seatbelts. All right, all right, so we'll back our seatbelt on. All right. Okay. Now most people just throw their seatbelt on and don't consider that they need to have this holding them into the seat. All right. So this is deep bone structure down here. But if you've got your seatbelt across your belly, there's plenty of jelly there, mate. And uh, so what we want to do is get that nice and low, and then pull in tight down there. Now that's going to hold you in the seat in the event of an accident. Okay. And also if you when you're four wheel driving, that's going to stop you from bouncing around. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. So now I've got you in the seat. All right. I'm actually going to get you out because oh. I've got some extra bits and pieces. Let's with this. go and have a look. Fantastic. Ricky, you promised us gadgets. These look fantastic. Yeah, mate. This aluminium table, nice and light, easy to fold and put together. Fits in a bag no bigger than a camping chair. That is compact, isn't it? Beautiful. What else you got? The barbecue here. You know, set it up in under a minute. Here we have lunch cooking. Look, I did see you set that up. Look, there's only about three pieces. All exactly. Together. Yep, and it goes into the nice little box there. Yeah. Keeps everything contained. Mate, there's a torch. Well, that is a torch, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's a great torch. It's got high and low beam, so if you really need to, you can throw it on the front of the car as a spotlight. But the reason why I bought it, it's got a DC socket on the side there, yeah. and I use these fluoros just hanging them up in the tree. I bought this one here at Harbour Town for under 10 bucks. Fantastic. What, what else could I plug into there? Well, you can put your phone charger in there, you can put uh, your DVD player, you can put anything you like that has a DC socket. Okay, very All good. Right. Now, I saw you with another torch. Yeah, the little uh, Dolphin Micro, mate. There's 16 million of the Dolphin torches sold around the world. <laughs> you got one of them yeah. as well. Yeah, nice, light, compact, waterproof, robust, 
you know, you keep it in every drawer of the house. You know, you keep it in the car just in case you, you need to have a look at some things under the car. Now, if you're out camping, you go to the dunny at night, you yeah. need a torch. Exactly. <laughs> but whatever you do, don't let the kids get hold of it because you'll never see it again. No, good point. Yeah, and speaking of kids, some great chairs. I walked into a camping store the other day and two of the cutest chairs I've seen yeah. and I had to have them for the kids. I can see why. Ricky, absolutely fantastic. The four-wheel driving tips and all of the gadgets. I've really enjoyed this. And look, if you want any more information on any of this stuff, these gadgets, all the driving tips, you can go to our website. All of Ricky's information is there. Ricky, thanks so much. No worries, Chris. You're on you. Thank you. My pleasure.